Here are five benefits why you want to become your own bank today. Number one, guarantee protection. Number two, liquidity. Number three, tax free retirement. Number four, compound interest. And number five, legacy. Stay tuned for more information. Click the link in the bio, subscribe, share with anybody you know. Just join the community. There are five benefits to becoming your own bank. And today we're gonna to be talking about that, utilizing what's called an IUL life insurance policy, which stands for Index Universal Life Insurance. So what exactly is an Index Universal Life Insurance Policy? Well, to summarize it, this policy is designed to help you grow your money tax-free, grow your money with compound interest, all while protecting your legacy. And it has a couple of benefits built into this policy. Um, benefit number one for me is it really is guaranteed protection. Um, I think that we all have seen that the stock market has been on a roller coaster over the last 20 years. Right. We have survived the 2001.com crash. We've survived the 2008 housing market crash. And then most recently, the COVID-19 pandemic. Here's what we do know is we can't predict what the stock market will do over the next 20 years in the future. And so having your money in a vehicle that actually provides, or should I say guarantees protection I think that's paramount. So that's the first benefit of becoming your own bank, leveraging an index universal life insurance policy. You know, I think one of the things uh, that people think about is, oh my goodness, they just use the word guarantee. Yes, guarantee 100% protection of your money inside of a life insurance policy. All right, but let's transition now. Let's go into benefit number two, right? Benefit number two, I think is liquidity. And I remember before we got into this industry, these terms were so new, so foreign. Um, sometimes we think you gotta be an economist. Guys, you don't have to be good at math <laughs> to, to understand this stuff. Liquidity basically means it's your money and you can access it whenever you want. No penalties, no rules or restrictions. That money is yours. And we know that in a lot of financial vehicles today, specifically 401k, how old do you have to be to touch your money? 59 and a half minimum. 59 and a half. And if you need to touch it before then, you actually have to prove to the government that you have a life changing event. Right. You right? still got to pay your taxes on it. You still have to pay taxes on it. Mm -hmm. uh, what I love about an index universal life policy is that money is yours. It's, it's liquid. You can touch it when you need it. No penalties, rules or restrictions. And to me, I mean, having that freedom to, to go and get my money when I need it is everything. And benefit number three, we're gonna talk about what's called compound interest, all right? And compound interest, let me put it in a very easy way to explain compound interest. Um, that's when you grow your money at a accelerated rate. And so for example, if I had $50, let's use $100, much easier math. I had $100 and I grew 10%, I made $10. Now in a traditional sense, the interest would always be based upon my original dollar amount. But in compound interest, I now can grow my money based upon the new number. All right, so that means if I made $10, my new amount is now 110. If I made another percent, that's now $11. So now I add that. And so over time, that just begins to add up and add up and then it compounds, right? That's benefit number three when we're talking about an index universal life policy. By the way, like Jasmine said in benefit number one, you never lose any money. There's a couple of other things too as well because people say, well, how is this possible? Well, it's possible because Uncle Sam has these rules in place yes. and specifically these IRS tax codes. That we never learned about. Where were these IRS tax codes when we were in social studies in high school? So many people don't understand that you literally can legally leverage the power of an index universal life policy to build wealth and pass down generational wealth. But I think also to have wealth, like literally invest in businesses, put your children through college, student loan debt free, 
uh, invest in property, luxury vacation, like that money is yours to do what you want. It doesn't need to be a qualifying, um, yeah, life changing right. event. All right. So let's dive into the to, to each one, right? Yes. It's three tax codes, okay? You can Google me, you can fact check, you can do all of that, guys. I'm giving it to you right here. First rule, 7702, IRS tax code 7702 says, you are allowed to grow your money tax-free. That's the first one. Hallelujah. <laughs> but right. How awesome is that? It's pretty awesome. You mean to tell me that my money can grow and I don't have to pay taxes mm -hmm. on that? Now, some else, somebody else may say out there, say, well, you could do that in a Roth. Yes, you could do that in a Roth, but you have a limitation on how much you can put into a Roth every single year. Yep. There is no limit on how much you can put into a life insurance policy as long as it's structured properly. The next tax code is going to be 101A, which means that the death benefit is allowed to pass on tax free. By the way, if the policy is structured correctly too as well, that cash value as well that grew inside that policy is also allowed to pass on tax free as well under that same code. And the last one is IRS tax code 72E. I wanted to add because there are so many life insurance agents right now talking about becoming your own bank. And I think the, the best way to me, the most effective way to properly design an index universal life insurance policy, which is why you need to make sure you're with a seasoned experienced agent for me is to solve for minimum death benefit, maximum cash value. Right. Guys, when we're talking about becoming your own bank, we're not talking about $50 a month, $100 a month. To really see the power, the transformative wealth building power of this vehicle, you should be funding an IUL at a minimum of anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 a month. On the low end. On the lower end. And so that's a really important caveat to say because everybody wants to open up an IUL and think that within five years, they're gonna become millionaires. Remember, that compound interest is based off of your principal. So it's based off of what you input, what you feed into that vehicle. If you're feeding $100 a month, you know, you can't, this is not Jesus turning water into wine. Right, <laughs> this absolutely. Is gonna, you gotta, you know, be in a place where you understand that building wealth, again, it's a long-term game. And I th let's, let's stay right there, Jasmine. And it requires, really quickly, babe, uh, sacrifice. It does. Because when we first got our IUL, we, we honestly had to reprioritize our financial allocation. Like, you might need to eat a little bit less at Chick-fil-A. You may need to start whatever it may look like, carpooling, taking public transportation, because that's only a season of sacrifices right. for long-term wealth. Right, and I think, I think more so too, what has happened is that our industry and the power of what these policies can do has been watered down, right? And it's just been commercialized and just say, you can just get rich quick. We're not saying that you can get rich quick off of this. Wealth building principles is not get rich quick. Right. Uh, even learning from one of the greatest investors of all time, which is Warren Buffett, he never said that you was about to get rich quick overnight. Mm -hmm. Right. And the IUL is not going to do that either. But again, what it guarantees is that you'll never lose anything. And if I'm about to begin to build my wealth and I never get to lose a penny, that is a vehicle I definitely want to get involved with. Especially in a volatile market. Especially. And, and again, guys, I'm not against crypto, real estate you know, stocks, mutual funds, ETFs, none of those things I'm against, guys. But when it comes to building that foundation of where you can always rest assured that it's gonna be there, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, and I wanna also add, because uh, you may be thinking, well, what does that compound interest actually look like? Well, over the last 20 years, the average index account has yielded anywhere from six to 8% interest annually. That's important it is. because that rate of return at your bank, I don't care if you're with Bank of America, JP Morgan Chase or PNC, that average rate of return on that savings account that we all love is 0.0001%. And so when we talk about compound interest, just really think about that. If you're feeding a financial vehicle at $1,500 a month, and you're getting six to 8% interest on that money, why wouldn't you wanna put your money there? 
Right, right. And as well as obviously, you know, sometimes people also forget the fact that, hey, it's a life insurance policy. So if something happens to me, this wealth is immediately given out to the family. Benefit number five. Legacy. Right. But before we go to benefit number five, we didn't we didn't mention the last tax code. Yes, yes, yes. Tell All us. All right. So the last tax code, guys, is 72E, which states that you are allowed to withdraw your money tax free. Right. And that's very important because, for example, you know, you're able to grow your money tax free, for example, using a 401k, mm -hmm. but it's not tax free. It's actually tax deferred. Mm -hmm. Right. So. This allows you to be able to also pull that money out, use it how you want to, and not have to pay taxes on it. And it's, if we dive a little bit deeper there, it's how uh, we've seen wealthy, whether it's millionaires, billionaires, but folks who understand how money works is how we've watched them evade paying taxes. Uh, if we can be honest, right? It, it's how you've watched people buy homes. Legally. But legally, by taking money out of their index universal policy, um, make investments into other businesses. And so I personally love the fact that I can not only touch my money whenever I want it, but, and I don't have to pay taxes on it. And it's my money. And the best part is benefit number five. I love this because an index universal life insurance policy is also provides you with death benefit protection. So you get to leave an inheritance behind for your children, your children's children. That is above all else, I think what makes this industry incredibly noble being able to protect generations to come. And you know, I always say, I think generational wealth begins with generational knowledge. And so what you know and what you don't know, you will pass down to your loved ones. That's it, that, those literally are the five benefits on why you wanna become your own bank. So guys, with that being said, if the information that you received here today served any purpose, you're excited, you wanna learn more, I want you to click that link in the bio schedule a time to meet with us hit the share button share with the loved one share with the friend and i want you to know that these concepts though we're saying for example you know you want to get to a point paying 1, 1500 you may feel like ellis i don't have that right now it's okay we got to start somewhere and that's what we're here to do to help you do that but with that being said guys let wealth and purpose drive you to prosperity join us <laughs>